The first thing that I do after I'm done my quarantine is... Hey everyone, it's Jo. I'm the Kosher Ninja. I'm a city girl who loves Israel and Kung Fu, sometimes likes to get out of the city, and occasionally has a strong opinion or two. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below to be notified when I post new videos. But today, I have to apologize for the state of my studio. I'm so sorry, we've lost all our greenery that made this such a happy place. But in any event, this is probably going to be my last or at least my second last video from this studio at any event because next week I will try to get out a video and then the following week after that I'm going to be en route to Israel. So yeah it's right up to the crunch right now and so we're going to talk about that today. I've been packing like a fiend and doing lots of crazy stuff over the last couple weeks. Not really quite sure what to do with myself now for the next two weeks, but all my stuff is packed or in storage. Um, the stuff that's coming with me, all my video stuff, so I'm kind of winging it. So right now, we're just gonna take a look at some of the stuff I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. And first off, why don't we start with getting a student visa? I got it. I got my visa. Well, I don't actually have it physically in my grubby little hands and I won't believe it until I see it. But as I was driving up here to Ottawa the other day, I got a phone call from the consulate and they were looking for a bunch of documents that I hadn't included in my application, except that I had. So by the end of the conversation, he told me that I also hadn't included a return envelope. I said I could pick it up. I just got my visa and my second shot right there. Now I need food. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I had to go back because they made a mistake on my visa. So, two tries later, I have my visa and I'm finally on my way sort of, except that now I still have to get PCR tests and everything else. <sighs> oh well, at least the visa's down. Well, I got my passport back, that's a relief. And uh, yeah, so they had given me a student visa for 11 months. It was supposed to be for a year. And so I should have brought my reading glasses. Anyways, I could it's just this timing that's really confusing everybody because it's August and September and anyways. So I had to go back, get the uh, date changed. They changed it for me while I waited, so that was really nice of them. And it's all good now. Um, whole bunch of emails going around now about changes in the COVID rules, so... The school is once again responsible for our quarantine, apparently. So lots more paperwork and craziness going on. And uh, that's not to mention my course selection that is still awaiting me at home that I have to go check out. And I knew it was going to be really, really crazy now that I only have less than a month left. But yeah, this is <laughs> really, really insane. I did check out those the class select, course selection that they sent us and it's really kind of a little bit frustrating actually because they have so many amazing courses that I want to take and a lot of them I can't take because they overlap with uh, core courses and um, other courses and their scheduling conflicts. So I'm hoping that that's all going to get resolved in some way and that I'll be able to get the courses that I want. Um, but that's, we're going to sort all that out during orientation, I guess. So hopefully that'll work out. Speaking of the entry permit, there's so much paperwork. Now I'm trying to apply for this entry permit thing. 
and there's like this declaration I have to make about how I'm gonna get to my quarantine that I can't make because it says I can't take a taxi and I have to take a taxi and I'm allowed to take a taxi. Oh, this is really frustrating. Um, but I'm not the only one, so at least that makes me feel a bit better. Okay, so the entry permit situation is very confused and confusing. Um, all I can see everywhere is that you need an entry permit, but the school pointed us to a website that said that coming from Canada, we don't need the entry permit because we have a valid A2 visa. So I've put in a, an email to the consulate to find out if they know anything about this and if they can give me some guidance on this. So I'm still waiting to hear about that. And that's kind of craziness because we're running out of time to make that application. So yikes, um, we'll tell you about that. I guess there's something to talk to you about next week. <laughs> All right. So what else have I been doing? I've been seeing lots of old friends and saying goodbye and meeting new friends and one of them actually in person one of my new school friends lives across town so we met up for lunch monday morning it's a monday morning like what could possibly go wrong right oh um yeah i had a personal catastrophe this morning too much info you don't want to know now I have a headache, I don't feel well, and I have an appointment, and I'm going to meet one of my new school buddies. So, so far, and the drivers on the highway have been absolute nutsoids. So, so far, not doing very well. Let's hope it gets better from here. <laughs> oh. ah. All right, so I actually made up some time, and I'm actually early. I thought I was going to be late. So we're waiting to see what my new schoolmate is going to be like and she should be here very shortly. Okay, that was totally unexpected. So her profile, her Facebook profile is like the picture of this woman with a buzz cut. <laughs> and I'm like thinking I'm going to meet this like with black like dark hair. I'm going to meet this, like, total badass Israeli woman. <laughs> and it turns out she's, like, the sweetest little thing who's not even Jewish. And she's grown out her buzz cut. But, <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I'm still having a bit of an issue getting used to sort of involving other people in my videos. But I will. In time, I will. I will learn this. I will get over it. And I hope that you will meet some of my <laughs> classmates and friend, new friends and stuff. So, anyways, um, I did meet my new friend and we're actually going to be flying over together. And um, we'll be taking the, the cab together from the airport to the dorms. So... Very, very exciting to meet one of my new friends, and it's less than three weeks to D-Day. So it's getting kind of crazy and kind of scary. I bought a new suitcase today. Yeah, <laughs> it's really happening. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Another thing that I've had to do is pack my stuff and my storage unit is so full there was no room. I was just catatonic basically because I couldn't really do anything. I couldn't pack anything because there was no room to put it in my storage unit. And so fortunately the storage people gave me a place to stash my winter tires which I will be getting rid of when I sell my car. Um, but they were in my way for now and so now I have room in my storage unit I've been packing putting stuff away who knew that I could collect so much stuff that I don't even actually use on a day-to-day -day basis at my uh, my bedroom with my friends where I've been living for the last couple of years um, yeah it, it's been kind of overwhelming the whole packing thing but I think I have it under control now. 
most of my stuff is away in storage. I still am sorting out a few things in terms of what I'm bringing with me and sort of last drips and drabs that need to go in storage. So all my clothes, all my that are coming with me and um, all my <laughs> video gear, just about everything is packed away or ready to be packed away. And um, yeah, so it makes life very strange and interesting. I'm living out of suitcases. So everything is kind of crazy, as you can see. Um, I'm actually looking forward to quarantine to get a breather. And the first thing that I do after I'm done my quarantine is I'm gonna walk to the beach and go for a swim. Then I have to get myself organized and the sort of first week of October is orientation and then the next week classes start. So yeah, it's, it, it's unbelievable. It's like almost here and soon, yeah. <laughs> so anybody else out there scrambling to get ready for back to school? Tell me about it in the comments down below, especially if you're going overseas. I'd love to hear from you. If you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And you've got less than two weeks left to guess where I'm going to be living and going to school in Israel. And to be quite honest with you, I'm not quite entirely sure myself because as I understand it, my school is the newest university in Israel and they just changed their name. So even I don't know where I'm going to school. But I guess we'll find out for sure in two weeks. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see you guys from Israel next time. So until then, Shana Tova Umetuka Shalom, eh? Before we know it, it's gonna be over. And that's the sucky part.